The information provided in this amazing video is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. So talk to your licensed medical professional. Duh. This fabulous video is brought to you by Momotaro Apotheca. Wow. Welcome. Remember me? The prego lady from I'm freaking pregnant, y'all. Well, guess what? I freaking gave birth, y'all. And this is my cute ass freaking baby, Achilles. Hi. Here are a few things you should know about childbirth. Ways to give birth. Choose your fighter. At a hospital with an OBGYN. A vaginal birth with a midwife at home or in a birthing center. You can have yourself a water birth. Just like Flipper's mom. You can get yourself an epidural. Give me that thing. <sighs> I took it and I freaking loved it. Busy? You can schedule yourself a C-section. Sometimes things don't go as planned. You may end up with an emergency C-section and that's okay too. And if you're really lucky, you can give birth in 18 minutes on the sidewalk outside of your favorite gelato shop with the help of the entire fire department. True story, not mine. And if people have anything to say about how you give birth, they can go up. Is this baby coming out of your body? I don't think so. Birthing position. The squatting position. The birthing ball position. The make it stop. The waiting for the bus. Am I pooping myself <gasps> position? Yes, you are. The why are these people holding my legs like that? The how the did I get myself into this mess? The you did this to me position. Make sure you or your partner advocates for you to be in whatever position you want to be in. The sudden realization that you had a freaking baby. Oh my God. You're a freaking mom and you had a freaking baby. This realization will hit you again and again and again. Bonding. The first moments with your brand new baby. You know in the movies when they hand the freshly squeezed baby to the new mom who instantly bonds with the baby and weeps with overflowing joy? It can happen like that. You could also be overwhelmed. You could disassociate. You could feel unready for the moment or feel no bond with your baby. There's a no right way to feel about holding your baby for the first time. Real talk. I didn't connect with my baby when they put him in my arms. It took me a full day to fall in complete love. And now I just want to eat his little toes. Tips to take care of yourself after birth. Are you one of those people who struggles with doing the most? I'm here to tell you to sit the f down. No household chores. Don't be cooking. Don't run that marathon. In fact, no strenuous exercise for six weeks. But do find those cozy socks. Do keep your belly covered in yummy blankets. Do let people help you. And do focus on learning how to be a mama to your baby. And for the love of Christ, don't forget to shower. I like to use Momotara Pathica's Hydrosol Spray to keep my nanny feeling fresh. Breastfeeding. Some people take to breastfeeding right away and two magical fountains start gushing and the baby latches on like a little suckling piglet and it's all sunshine and rainbows and an overstuffed freezer full of booby juice. This does not happen to everyone. Here to give us some advice on breastfeeding is board certified lactation consultant, Julie Matheny. Hi, Julie. Oh, hello, gotta get out of here. Breastfeeding shouldn't Ouch. hurt. If it does, something's going on. It's natural, but it still takes practice. You shouldn't expect to master on the first try. The more the breast is emptied, the more it makes milk. You can increase and decrease supply by feeding more or less often. Pediatricians are not experts on lactation. If you're struggling with breastfeeding, work with an expert. Every baby feeds differently. Comparing your baby to someone else's baby can make you think you're doing something wrong even when you're doing everything right. Sometimes breastfeeding just doesn't work no, 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 no. and it's totally okay. Using formula is also okay. Meet your new breast friend, the pump. Listen up, the number one rule of pumping is you must have the correct flange size. To get the correct flange size, you need to measure your nipple, so go ahead, give it a little squeeze. Some breasts leak and some don't. Both are normal, but if you are leaking, you can use breast pads or catch the milk with a silicone milk catcher. People on the internet love to show freezers full of booby juice. However, this is what most people actually pump. Thanks, Julie. Thank you for watching. I freaking gave birth, y'all. Till next time. Love me.